Independent journalism is an integral part of a healthy society because it serves as a check on power by investigating abuses and exposing the actions of the powerful. Naturally, the best way to inform the public and be a watchdog is when the media isn't dependent on powerful actors for money or access to produce and distribute the news of the day. But oftentimes there are businesses and governments or other powerful actors who lean on the media and try to capture these media watchdogs. You can understand why an independent media can threaten their interests by exposing corruption and casting a light on their misdeeds. A well-informed public could object to the way powerful actors are making their money or winning their elections. Because they're worried about these kinds of stories, public and private actors sometimes band together to capture watchdogs. Maybe they don't buy a news outlet outright, but instead put financial pressure on them. A lot of independent media depends on advertising for their survival. So that means they need funding from businesses, nonprofits, and even governments. Advertisers can dangle the prospect of an advertisement to try to get better or more positive coverage. Politicians can pressure advertisers by demanding that they pull their ads from the news outlets that cover them critically. Legacy media like newspapers, magazines, radio, and television stations are expensive to run. They have difficulty turning profits from sales alone and are relatively few in number. This gives powerful actors the perfect opportunity to create their own media outlets or to buy up those that are struggling. Often it gives them an ability to shape the coverage or fire those who don't conform to their view of the world. Captured media can go from vigilant watchdog a toothless public relations machine, ignoring the news of the day. Media owners may even be willing to lose money on glossy media businesses in order to curry political favor and profit from their position in other ways. Is new media the answer? Haven't technological advances allowed more diverse media to be produced on the cheap and efficiently delivered to audiences? Well, not exactly. While it may be less expensive to produce and distribute journalism online, small digital news outlets can still fall prey to the powerful. Labor-intensive investigative journalism is overshadowed by the quick story, the clickbait. Google, Facebook, and other online platforms gobble up more than 90% of the new advertising revenue online, leaving just a small portion for journalism's producers. This gives powerful actors the perfect opportunity to capture watchdogs. Media capture is popping up everywhere. Countries like Turkey, Kenya, and Hungary, thought to be fertile ground for new democracies in the early 2000s, are now showing all the worrying signs. Political factions and their business allies are capturing national media. It's no accident that the erosion of media freedoms is going hand in hand with the erosion of democracies. With poorly informed citizens, elections are less fair, and the powerful are less accountable. But media capture is not inevitable. Ownership can be monitored, and the courts can prevent the concentration of media in too few hands. Business and aid models could be developed to ensure a diversity of funding and media independence. The internet can be regulated to allow legacy journalism outlets to earn a fair share of advertising revenue. Together, these efforts can help create and maintain the independence of the media so it can be a watchdog protecting the public around the world. <laughs>